All right, guys. So I am going to be showing you how to create your diagrams for the presentation and analysis of data. All right. So let's look at our questionnaire because you're going to use a questionnaire, all right? All right. So you want to ensure that your questionnaire is ready, right? Or your survey instrument. Um, you would want to ensure that you have you have answered your questions because remember that is this is simulation. So you would answer your questions, right, for those who are doing the simulation, right? If you go out and you collect the information, then you would have the information um, just the same. So what you would do is copy the question, right? Copy it. And then you would now um, have the information here. So for the first question, right, it was a yes or no. We had 12 said yes, three said no. So this is it right here. So you would type it in, you highlight it, you click on insert, and we're gonna use a pie chart to represent this type of data. It's fairly simple, right? And you can use the percentage one. It's always good to use a percentage because you now we can have percentages to talk about, right? Then you highlight the chart title and you put the question there, right? And then you just copy and paste. So you copy and paste this, right, in your presentation and analysis of data, right? Copy and paste, right? So this diagram here, it's there. You may want to edit the text wrapping so that you can move it, center it, all right? And I'll show you how to write the, the title later, right? Now let's look at the, another question, right? So the second question, in what ways um, you think COVID-19 um, COVID measures, supposed to be measures, not measurements, right? This is just a sample SPA. So you copy that and you go back to your Excel sheet, right? This is the information there, as you can see, reduce sales, lower profit, less customers, da 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 da, right? You, the information is there. So you put input the information there and then you just insert. You have a column, you can decide what column, um, what style you want to use. You put the question there, right? And then you just copy and paste just the same, right? Be sure to use different cells when you are for each information. If, you want, if you're creating a new um, diagram, Right. If you use, if I had used this cell to create the diagram to do the, the second one, then it would have changed the information. Right. So I copied, and I'm now I'm going to paste. Right. So I paste it here, and now you can type in figure one. Right. Figure one. You can say pie chart showing responses to question number one. And then all you need to do from here is just to explain, explain the diagram, right? You can give reasons, give possible reasons, right? Based on information that you know from your textbook, right? Or credible, credible sources, right, to explain, right? So you would quote credible sources. So this is important, right? That is the analysis part of it, all right? But basically that is all you would have done your stuff.